Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Oh, it's time again for the weekend top and bottom of the deck. So, weekend, I always forget the date. I always gotta check again. The 16th and 17th of January. <laughs> Those of you who are near here, not sure how we do this. I go by the elements. It just makes for a shorter, faster read. So, if it resonates with your sun sign, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do for the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it's not resonating with your sun sign, you can feel free to check your moon rising or Venus signs. If you're not sure where any of your signs far, fall as far as the elements go, I shout out the signs as I go along through the different decks because everybody knows who has been watching for a while. I use different decks for the different signs and elements. And someone is usually kind enough to time stamp it so you don't have to sit through the whole thing if you don't want to. <laughs> okay. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might even play out from the perspective of a crosswatch. And our dear friends, the crosswatchers are always welcome here at the Fireside and Tarot Table. Okay, without further ado. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. January 16th and 17th. Nine of Pentacles reversed, Five of Wands. Mm. Codependency, squabbling and fighting. I don't like it. I don't like it. What's up with that, Earth Signs? Hmm. Okay. We'll get clarifiers in a second. What happened? Moon in the reverse, the King of Wands in the reverse. All things became clear. Something came to a dead stop, possibly. Oh boy. Oh boy. Truths coming out. Things not moving forward. Weird. What happened after that? Queen of Pentacles reversed in the Two of Wands. I really don't like this. I really don't like this. This has a vibe of... Oof. I'm just going to lay out cards before I speak because Queen of Cups, Six of Swords. That's a painful moving on. Emotional closings off. Offers being taken off the table, things going to a dead stop, things become stagnant. Truths being spoken, fighting, arguing, squabbling. Hmm. All right. Let's get some clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my Earth sign friends, please? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 16th and 17th. Hmm. The world. Old cycles close, new cycles start, chapters end, chapters begin. I don't think this ended well. Why the moon reversed and the king of wands reversed? One card, please. 
That could be a long time ago, could be not so long ago. Five of Cups, Sadness. Truths came out about a person, an event. Things stopped moving forward. Great sadness. All the cups got kicked over. No, not all the cups. Just some of them. There's still some full cups there. There's still two full cups there. One more on that, please. Thanks. Okay, wands reversed. Something came to a stop. Found out the truth about something. The cycles closed. It could have been arguing, bickering, fighting. I have I have a sense that someone was held back. Maybe you found out why someone or something was trying to hold you back. I have a sense of bitterness here. Why the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Wands upright? Nine of Wands. I think they attempted to hold you back. Or attempted to make you feel like, and to make you feel needy and codependent, maybe? Wheel reversed, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Stood up for what you wanted, stood up for what you believed in. One last, one last push. I think you let go, with or without them, you let go and you moved forward. Why the Wheel reversed? Why the wheel reversed? Nine of swords. This kept you up at night. I think this haunted you. It may still haunt some of you. Wow. Okay, why the Queen of Cups reverse Six of Swords upright for what's coming this weekend? King of Cups. One more. Ten of Swords reversed. Oof. I'm catching a sense of... Even if it's not equal, even if you don't feel the same way I do, and this is just what I'm hearing, I still love you, but I need to walk away from this because my Ten of Swords is reversed and the sun is not shining in my life and my pain is not ended. I have not slept. I'm still anguished over this, and I want the sun to shine in my world again, so I need to move away from this.
One more. Double reversed. Breaking away from something that was completely toxic and did no one any good. Allowing a cycle to end, even though there's bitterness and there's anger. I think you're just disconnecting from the bitterness and the anger so the sun shines in your world again, Earth Signs. Let's get your advice. Oh, why do I got to start out with one of these? Wow. King of Swords, Three of Wands. Sometimes it's, it's like that. Sometimes you have to guard yourself and sometimes you have to make logical, non-emotional choices. For your own mental health, maybe. Or your own mental or spiritual well-being. And not wait for people to come around. Three of Wands reversed. Sometimes it's just like that. Wow. This might have to do with... Those two King of Wands reversed up there. This may have to do with like an older family member. I don't know if this is like couples trying to let each other go or what. But... And the, yeah. I got queens, I got queens, and I got kings. So this may have to do with older members of your family. I think this was a family matter. But sometimes you just have to break away. And not wait for people to come around. And sometimes it's just like that. Sometimes relationships become so toxic and overpowering. <sighs> wow. Okay, well... Two of Wands, reversed, Queen of Cups. You have to love yourself enough to not stand at a crossroads and make yourself crazy. Sometimes you have to fill your own cup. Wow. Okay, well, good luck with that, Earth Signs. Mm. Don't know who that was for, but okay. That's powerful. I have to pause very briefly because um, one of the other reasons why I didn't get too far in it into the January reads this week. Um, Tuesday, I got called away and I had to stop reading. I, I, th I got as far as cancer, I believe, and I had to stop. And Wednesday, I had to make an emergency trip back home before my 10 hour shift Wednesday night. And yesterday I was home with a sick kid all day and he is still home because he has to be symptom free for 24 hours before he can return to school. So I need to pause and go check on him. I'll be right back. Okay. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. January 16th and 17th. I'm gonna keep forgetting the date. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Any messages we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 16th and 17th. Wow. 
Hermit reversed in the Empress in the upright. Why is everybody in such a weird energy this weekend? We get clarifiers on that in a second because I'm not liking the vibe I'm getting off of that. Air sign friends, I don't think you're seeing yourselves as the Empress right now. I don't think you're seeing your worth. I don't think you're seeing potential for anything. I don't like that. We're not going to go there. What happened? The world in the upright, the seven of swords in the reverse, possibly the ending of a cycle because some truths came out. This is just going to be a weekend theme, I guess. But when things end, things begin. Okay. What happened after that? Star in the upright, six of pentacles in the reverse. Healing. Improvement of energy flow. Making peace with things. But still a sense of imbalance. Still a sense of lack, lack of equal give and take. It's coming in this weekend. Ace of Cups reversed in the Emperor. The song, I'm doing it my way, or I did it my way, is playing. I can't remember the name of the song. I did it my way. It's playing in my head. Hmm. Okay. Super, super strange, but okay. Let's get a little clarity from my air sign friends. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the card from the Pippa Pot? Air sign friends, please. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Four Swords Reverse trying to pop out. Maybe a little bit of restless energy in regards to something. We just tried to pop out. We'll see if it comes back out. Oh, hi. What do you want to say? Chariot reversed. Like a forward movement, being pulled in two different directions. Could be the closing of the gap. One more. Nine of Wands. Could be a Virgo or a Gemini you're dealing with. We got Cancer on the board now. Could be an Aries, could be an Aquarius. This is where we're really gonna start looking. Some of you may have had someone return to your life, possibly to help you see the person that you are, the person that they want you to be, or you should want to be. Some of you have someone walk back in recently? Hmm, okay. Why the world in the Seven of Swords reversed? Karma reverse, reverse of judgment.
Eight of Swords. It ended, but it didn't end, did it? Someone got all wrapped up in the why. Something that should have come to an end couldn't fully because somebody got all wrapped up in why. <clears throat> why the stars and the Six of Pentacles reversed? You're acting like you want to talk. Shadow side reversed, so the devil reversed. Healing process. Trying to break away from the toxic energies or the energies that do us no good. Trying not to be bound to it. One more. Seven of Cups reversed, but there's still the confusion. There's still the lack of balance. Some of you may feel lost. Can't find your way. But you're healing. But are you healing fully? I sense some of you are attempting to make peace with it. Coming in this weekend, why the Ace of Cups reversed and the Emperor? Six of Swords. And the Empress. We got an Emperor and an Empress. And an Emperor and an Empress. Friends. This weekend, you may finally make peace. I think you're going to get a little help. But you may finally make peace. The Six of Swords tells me that you're going to move away from it. You're, you're finally going to cross the... Well, that's not glass waters for sure. It's not like hurricane-style choppy, but it's not exactly a sheet of glass either, so may finally cross the choppiness and get through the, the waves. Go to the other side where the grass might be a little bit greener. Things might be a little bit clearer. The land of acceptance. You may finally see yourself for who you are. Sometimes it takes someone coming into our life to open our eyes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Hmm. Regain some control. Allow the process of healing to finally fulfill. See a brighter future coming your way. I literally just tossed like half of that deck over there. Wow. Pardon me. Yeah. One more. I want to get one more on that. And 
Nine of Swords reversed. Some of you may be able to sleep a little bit better at night too. Friendly rest. Wow. You don't always get your happy ending and you don't always get the truth. There's absolutely no shame in throwing in the towel if it's the best thing for you. Queen of Pentacles reversed in the Hermit. Page of Pentacles reversed. Pentacles reversed. And there's no shame in no longer putting energy into a situation. If it means you finally find that light and you finally heal. Wow. Wow, air sign friends. Wow. That's profound. I don't know what that one was for, but okay. Sometimes advice has nothing to do with a reading. Maybe it's just something someone needed to hear. And that's why I show up once a week. I do my best to. Sometimes life happens. Okay. Water sign friends. To make sure they stay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 16th and 17th of January, double reversed, Nine of Cups in the upright, disconnecting from something toxic and finally filling your own cups and finding happiness. Nice. That's a ray of sunshine. Six of Swords, Upright, Emperor in Reverse. Moved on from something. Went where the grass is greener. Waters aren't as choppy. This Emperor reversed. You may have, like, stole someone's thunder in doing that. Some of you, based on how these cards just laid out, may have drove your boat into something a little bit more chaotic. Just, you know, you see how the boat is like steering 
as okay, this is how I view it. The boat is staring toward the reversed emperor. What happened after that? <clears throat> Full upright knight of wands reverse. Jumping new paths to get a clarifier on that. I can't tell if you're jumping out of the fire or jumping into it because that Knight of Wands is reversed. What's happening this weekend? Ooh, two of wands, seven of cups. Some of you have been be choosing to let go of the past and move toward the future. Or chewing on a decision whether you want to or not with the Seven of Cups, deciding what path you're going to take. Hmm. That's a depiction. Are you jumping into the fire or out of it? Wow. Never source and spirit. Can I get a little clarity on the cards on the table for my water sign, friends, please? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three of Swords wanted to pop out. Maybe it means something. Maybe it doesn't. Let's see if it comes back out. Nine of Cups reversed came out too. Karma, i.e. judgment. It's divisible into ten, so it's an ending and a beginning. It's allowing something to die so it can resurrect, if it's meant to. Disconnecting from something toxic. Finding happiness. Allowing something to end so something else can resurrect. Okay, one more on that. Okay, I'll take two. That's fine. Four swords. It's in the upright this time. Laying something to rest. Possibly a connection. The Leo card came out. The sun, allowing the sun to shine again. Could have been a soulmate connection you're laying to rest. Could have been a connection with Leo you're laying to rest. I have Leo, Capricorn, Aries. Aries is on here twice. Okay. Why the Six of Swords and the Emperor reversed? Two of Swords reversed. No matter what decision you made, somebody was going to get hurt. Eight of Wands, Six of Cups. Very quick, very abrupt. Possibly unexpected communication either received or given. 
Six of Cups, soulmate connection, someone you've known for a while, possibly someone you've been involved with for, for a while, or known since childhood, and someone you have wonderful nostalgic feelings for, good memories with, okay. Eight of Cups, moved on, walked away. Why the Fool and the Knight of Wands reversed? Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. The Burden. The Burden of the New Path. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Oh, the burden of the new path. Some of you may be questioning, should I have walked away? Or may have questioned. Did I really go anywhere in walking away? Now the wand's reversed. You feel burdened, you're not sleeping. You're up at night thinking about it. Ten of Cups, if I go back, will I find my happiness? Will my cups be full? Oof. People don't walk away from things when you're happy. So you have to ask yourself why you walked away. Or why they walked away. Could be I have a sense it was you, but it could have been them. All right, coming in this weekend. Why the Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups? Death. Oh, wow, well, I don't want to take this many, but... It's pretty insistent that I do. Six of Swords reversed. And the Queen of Swords. And the Ten of Swords reversed. I got a Queen and a King of Swords here. And they're facing away from each other. Super weird energy. Super weird, not gonna lie. Cause I feel compelled to say it, and th this is gonna sound strange. One may return to the other because as it turns out, leaving didn't end the pain. Leaving didn't cause the sun to shine again. Quick, abrupt, no matter what I do, someone's going to get hurt. Wow, water signs. What? What? Okay, let's get your advice. This is like soup. You know what? You know what today is? It's January 15th. You know what? Mercury retrograde pre-shadow. Suddenly the light bulb comes on and it all makes sense. Okay. <laughs> no wonder.
Queen of Cups reversed and the Five of Pentacles reversed, leaving yourself emotionally closed off to this situation is only going to leave you out in the cold. Just felt compelled to say that. Chariot in the upright, Knight of Pentacles reversed, possibly the only way forward in this situation is for someone to come forth with an apology, come forth with some kind of offer. Ten of Pentacles reversed in the Seven of Cups. Be careful what path you choose because not all paths lead to abundance. Duh. Whoa. It came out twice. So, profound piece of advice because it came out twice. Queen of Cups reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups. Five of Pentacles reversed. Staying emotionally closed off to the situation is only going to further leave you out in the cold. So eventually you have to confront whatever emotions went along with this so you can deal with it. So maybe the sun can shine again. How do we confront our emotions sometimes? We have to confront the people involved. So that being said, water signs, that is your reading. Oof. That does not, you watched me shuffle. That does not happen by accident. It doesn't. It just doesn't. You watched me shuffle. I've been shuffling the whole time. Okay. Fire sign, friends. Clean up my cards. Got everybody? I got everybody. Okay. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. January 16th and 17th, 2021. All right. What does the universe have in store for you this weekend? I'm almost afraid to throw the cards down. That usually means that I don't want to shuffle anymore. I'm going to make it do it one last time. Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Wands upright. Codependency and waiting. First thing popped in my head. Codependency and waiting. Hmm. Okay. Empress reversed. Nine of Swords reversed. Wasn't going to grow. Wasn't going to go anywhere. Put it out of your head. Tried not to think about it. What happened after that? Emperor reversed, Ten of Wands reversed. Boy. Things still out of control, possibly vulnerability. Having to get something off your chest and you're not able to. Burdensome cycle can't come to an end. It's coming in this weekend. Ten of Cups reversed, Page of Pentacles reversed. Wow. Okay.
Knight of Swords. We keeping you up at night, fire signs? The moon is the not knowing why keeping you up at night. Why weren't we good enough? Wow. Why wasn't I good enough? That's just, it's resonating, ringing. Why wasn't I good enough? Wow. I don't think it was you, Fire Signs. I don't think it was you. I don't think it was you that wasn't good enough. Okay, I keep these things in my sweaters so they hang on the hanger. And it's just sticking out of my sweater now, driving me nuts. Every time I glance over at the time, uh, Empress reversed, Nine of Swords reversed. Why the Empress reversed, Nine of Swords reversed for my fire signs? Seven of Cups. One more. Knight of Cups. That's eight cups. Why the night? Ten of cups. Wow. Sorry, he had to let me know he was using the bathroom. Anyway. <laughs> That's stoic and profound. It didn't grow. Put it out of your head. Someone exercised other options, chose a different path. <sighs> exercised other options. Either you decided to give your mm. <sighs> that Knight of Cups. He rides in and he rides out. You were happy in the moment. Oof. Wow. See, I'm getting sucked into these, like, ten minute per element reads again. Ten minutes or more. Wow. Happiness in the moment. It didn't go anywhere. Chose a different path. Tried to put it out of your head. You were happy in the moment. The Knight of Cups brings moments. You knew happiness, you knew joy, you knew sunshine and rainbows if even for a moment. Why the Emperor reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed?
four of wands. I hear thunder. <sighs> and though things were kind of chaotic and things may not have worked out the way you wanted them to, needed to get something off your chest, you try to build a foundation elsewhere, try to put energy into things, maybe not communicate with this person for more. Seven of Pentacles is not fruit in there either. Possibly growing impatient with yourself. I don't know. There's impatience. Why isn't this working out? Putting all of my energy into this and building stable foundations. Why isn't this working out? Hmm. All right, moving forward to this weekend. Why the Ten of Cups, Page of Pentacles, both reversed? of cups three of cups three of wands This could be you. This could be the other person. I think someone is going to come forward. One more. One more. High Priestess. Wow. Wow. Why the High Priestess? Ace of Pentacles. I have a feeling that you may be approached this weekend. You may turn it down, but I have a sense that someone may come forward, say, I understand that it didn't work out, and I understand if you just reject me flat out right now, <laughs> but I still have profound feelings for you. I would like to come to a place where we can be friends again, because there's still a connection there. And there was a seed planted long ago that they feel still may have potential. They might wait around for it. Wow. Get your advice, fire signs. I'm, I'm whipped. I'm whipped. I'm like losing feeling in my legs whipped. Ugh, whipped. Knight of Wands, reversed. King of Cups.
no matter how deep your feelings go in regards to the situation, don't do anything with it unless you know you're getting the truth. That would be what I would say to that. King of Cups upright, Knight of Wands reverse, Page of Wands reverse, Page of Swords upright. Unless they are speaking truth, it does not matter how you feel about it. Don't do anything with it. That's how I'm reading that. That's what the other deck has to say. Two of Cups reversed, Knight of Pen Nine of Pentacles reversed, Page of Wands upright in Karma. Wow. I don't know what to say to that. If this disconnect that y'all had, because, yeah, this was a huge disconnect, left you feeling kind of like without self-worth. Do you get the communication to try to resurrect it again? Don't let your ego issues keep you from taking a pentacle or an offer. Don't let your ego get in the way. If someone, if someone was willing to communicate that maybe they were wrong, don't turn your nose up at it. Don't ever turn your nose up at an honest apology. Okay. I know fire signs struggle with that. I know I personally struggle with that. If I've been wronged, and I mean like really, really wronged, it takes a lot for me personally to be able to bite my tongue and swallow my pride. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of y'all, but okay, I'm pretty tired and I got to get ready to go to my bread and butter job. So I will catch you guys all later. Thanks for coming by. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys either Sunday night or Monday for your work week top and bottom of the deck. And I will as quickly as possible t this weekend and tonight when I get home and try to finish up the rest of the signs before next Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I can start February reads <laughs> because it'll be about halfway through January at that point. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your time. And I will catch y'all later. Be blessed.